mastery of defense as the anchor of the Boston Celtics dynasty. You know, you could ask former players who were the greatest player in the, in the history of the game. And in my personal opinion, it's Bill Russell. I think he's the, uh, the greatest. Even today, you look at all the wonderful players that are there. If I started my team today with guys in their prime, I'd still start with Bill Russell. We were in the playoffs against the Celtics, and we went up 2-1. Uh, and, and, you know, we thought we had a chance to upset, you know, the champions. In one game, I got 44 points, and Russ came to me after the game and told me, um, don't you ever come into my area again. I'm going to block every shot that you put up. I mean, he, and I listened to him. So I took jump shots instead of trying to drive to the basket. There's one thing that I'll never forget about Bill Russell. What a competitor he was. It's game five, 1967, 66, 67. We beat them for the championship. We're up approximately 20 points with a matter of seconds, five or six seconds left in the game. And Luke Jackson was going down for a layup. And I still can see Bill Russell chasing him down to try and block the shot. And I went, you know, this is why this man is so unbelievable as a player. The scoreboard had to be wrong because I don't lose. There's one picture of him that I've always said he had this kind of regal look about himself when he put his hands on his hip. He's standing at midcourt by shooting a free throw. And I still have a picture of this, him standing and kind of leaning on one leg. And I said, oh my gosh, the king is looking over his feet, okay? Senior writer Sean Powell, there's only one way to describe Bill Russell, the ultimate champion. The winner, um, 11 championships. Uh, what really stood out to me about his career is that he was undefeated in game sevens. Now, he played 10 of them. He didn't lose. Five of those game sevens came during the NBA Finals. Imagine that. In 1962 against the Lakers, that game went in overtime. Bill Russell, 30 points, 44 rebounds, played every minute of the game. I think when you look at that game and that stat, that basically tells you all you need to know about Bill Russell and his impact on the game. And, and so many great players, most of the great players in the history of basketball, we focus on their offensive end. Bill was so unselfish on, on that side of the basketball. Well, he was the rare superstar who did things that didn't show up in a box score. When you hear that about players, you're like, oh, well, they're very limited in what they can do. But Bill Russell was a fantastic rebounder, fantastic shot blocker. Well, how many shots did he intimidate? How many times did he bail out his teammates? How many times did he make it possible to trigger that fast break that led to baskets? See, those are the things about Bill Russell that you're just not going to find on a stat sheet. And beyond that, too, he was a pioneer of the game. Well, yeah, I mean, back in the 1960s when, you know, there was a lot of unrest, I, I think black America needed someone strong, very forceful, who could articulate what was going on in America, in America. And I think Bill Russell basically fit that to a T. A plan for Bill Russell um, and being drafted by him was a biggest honor. Uh, honestly, he's the advocate basketball player. So he always would have an opportunity to teach you about life more than basketball. And I had, as a rookie, he said, uh, his, my job was to sit next to him on every plane every bus ride, and every pregame meal. So I have a million Bill Russell stories uh, because of that. The one story that kind of stands out for me is um, we were talking about foreign players coming into the league. I was watching him, you know, looking at a script, figuring out what was going on. I'm like, what's that? He's like, oh, some foreign players I'm looking at. I said, coach, did you telling me there's not a great basketball player in Alabama? that you got to go all the way to Europe to get this guy. And um, he stopped me and he said, Kenny, as an African-American, you can never uh, not want inclusion. And I was like, whoa. He took a, a small basketball moment as a, a jest and, and taught me a life moment about inclusion and about life.